what is up what is up it's Kovian here and welcome back to the channel today we'll be looking at outer plane and after three months of waiting we finally get a new wave of dev node it has been so long my god like i know a lot of people who literally thought that they abandoned the game or something but apparently they've been cooking now i did skim through it but the details of it and figuring that out will be the point of this video i'm going to be reading through and giving my opinions the last video i took out on outer plane i told them to abandon the pvp ship and focus on waifus because it seems like that's what they're doing anyway right and this here just showcases that i mean that's probably where they're going right because i made a poll a couple of weeks ago um on twitter and on on my youtube as well as on reddit and the results of those all those polls 70 percent of people want it uh, i think on youtube i got 105 people it's not a lot very little amount of people 105 people <laughs> to vote on twitter i had 160 to vote and on reddit almost like 20 or something like that but it was the same number everyone loved the characters for the game the reason they play the game was the characters but um, yeah let's let's get let's read in detail what everything here entails and uh, we'll see in which direction the game is going in the next few months so hello masters this is Munsun Hyun the producer of Outer Plane glad to see it's still him you know it's not fired or something <laughs> I mean the game is doing okay it's a good 200k per month game listen if I ran a business and I got $200,000 monthly cash flow that would be amazing I know it's not cash flow but you know like revenue that would be amazing I'm not sure about the profits but doesn't take much to run out of play right thank you as always for your continued interest and support for out of plane but first i'd like to apologize for all the players who waited for developers notes for being unable to reach out sooner sure apologies only matter if there's re where's the excuse bare minimum excuse just say hey i was in the hospital <laughs> or something but yeah i mean he acknowledged that he the dev notes haven't been coming out but i don't see any um an excuse as to why they haven't i'd also like to apologize for the inconvenience caused by stability issues with the world boss and other updated content he means rta he doesn't want to say rta because i feel like they should just not do rta anymore that's that's my opinion that's how i feel right now <laughs> so our our priorities will focus on providing a stable service to our to our players and as a result we found it difficult at the time to provide communication regarding the direction of the future update but i'd like to ask for your kind understanding in this regard in this seventh developer note we'd like to provide you with details regarding the direction of future updates <clears throat> okay so i mean did, did is it solved is it solved not really on my iphone uh, i still crash so and that's a problem from when the game started I have no idea i have no idea why is this game built on unity i can play other unity games well so um i have no idea <clears throat> but let's get into the notes so upcoming update uh, i'm sure these are tentative names right especially this one this is funny as fuck <laughs> like no no so terminus isle exploration quirks and precise craft i'm happy for um for all of these actually i've looked at them i don't know the details but i'm actually happy for this point uh, we've received a lot of feedback from our players saying that there was insufficient routine content to enjoy after completing the story yeah yeah the daily grind is shit we prepared and carried out beta tests for the world boss and real time arena content in order to address this issue but the barrier to entry turned out to be to be a bit too high to be an effective solution for players still in the middle 
of their progress account dude are they pushing back rta is this what's going <laughs> rip the rta andes um uh, as such, we've decided that the addition of routine content that can also help players take on the upcoming world boss on RTA upon their full release is the highest priority task currently facing Outer Plane and we will be making the following update to provide fun new content for players. Okay, um, I didn't play the world boss so I have no idea how hard it was. But the only thing that makes rta hard is because the game has a weird lifespan it's so weird there is people the, like like hmm, how, how do i explain this there was a time where there were no new players coming that is a gaping hole so the game has new players that are two months and three months in and very old players that are nine months in there's no one in between, right? Because the people in between tried the game and quit the game, right? So there's only the loyal fans, right? Shout out to Koshira. <laughs> there's the loyal fans who in terms of gear are just above everyone. You are never touching those guys. And then there's a gaping hole of, there was like a six months period where people just joined and left the game. Right, they join, they play for a month, they leave, they get bored. They join for three days, they leave, they get bored, right? And now people are joining now and those are new players. Now you're going to queue into Koshira and that's that's not going to be fun. <laughs> right? In terms of RTA, that's not going to be fun. You, you, are, you will be bitch slapped, right? And, and by the way, Koshira is absolutely free to play, for example, right? So there, there's that. So they're trying to boost everyone's power. And it seems like there's going to be a system. New content. Terminus. Terminus. ISO exploration. Um, I can't figure out what it is. Currently. But it seems like it's just going to be you fight stuff. I see different levels. I see level 100 here. Wait. Don't tell me this is like uh you know like when you send no no we already have a system like that in the game like bounties you know like when there's bounties and stuff in games we already have a bounty system this should not be it but let's see on the aisles players can explore the island and play events to obtain various rewards players can access the the aisles after they've cleared at least one special request dungeon and eight or above <clears throat> okay the exploration progress is reset every Monday and players will be able to select between 10 different difficulty levels depending on their level of progression through the aisles. Players will be able to obtain resources used in newly added quirk and precise crafting system. And they can also look forward to obtaining massive rewards by defeating the new boss Zegaros. <laughs> What are these names? <laughs> Zig. Okay. Quirk. Dude, I don't like Quirk so much. I think I know what, what Quirks are. Like, you look at this. Quirks are like skill trees. Right? And it seems like it's going to be for different classes. No, no. These are not different classes. These are different bosses. So, for different game modes. I don't know. But Quirks, I think they're skill trees. But they're saying Quirks. <laughs> which is weird. Don't call them quirks, please. Maybe they sound they sound cooler in Korean because this is this is Korean, right? Um, quirk, okay, yeah, we fight Zig, who appears at certain intervals during the ISO exploration. All right, so damn, I wish I knew some Korean, so that I can read what's going on here. Ah, uh, I don't know. The image above is currently under development and is shown within multilingual support. Without multilingual support, it may be subject to change upon release. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> the UI might look something different. But this is speed. All of these are defense. And there seems like there's an ability here. I think that's the quirk. That's crit chance. That's crit chance. That's more defense. And it seems like it's K in the background, right? Like, this is the MC. Now, does this apply to your whole... To like k only 
like is this like a skill tree for k or is it for for your whole account that's 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 my question right now but we'll see quirks are a new growth system that can be advanced using points acquired through the iso content and have been designed to help players more easily challenge higher difficulty content through quirks players can enhance the stats of heroes by element and class okay it is but so maybe this is by element right so fire grass ice dark light okay cool and this these are classes but these are not classes like the class icons look completely different and we have a lot more classes than this so i don't know i don't know through quirks players can enhance yeah and can upgrade stats that are effective in progressing through pve so quirks are exclusively pve Furthermore, players can also upgrade stats that help them through the game overall, such as ones that enhance their resource acquisition or lower crafting costs. Alright, we'll see how, how the quirks thing happens. This is the most exciting one. Precise crafting. We can make the gear piece we want. I want crit rate, crit damage, speed, and attack. Give me that. Yes. The image above so precise crest can be accessed through the base and it is intended to reduce the difficulty of obtaining legendary gear it's all it's all pieces it's helmet it's it's the armor and it's the accessories i like it yes it will be consume it will consume resources obtained through the aisles and players will be able to select the unique and main stat of a legendary piece of gear and roll repeatedly for substats within certain bounds to to craft gear with the desired stats all right cool yeah make gear with stats you want i like that and then number two world boss is coming um rta they're throwing it to the curb they don't care <laughs> we don't care okay let's read a bit about uh when world the boss is coming Many players have sent us feedback during the first World Boss beta test and that the content was dif difficult to enjoy for new players. As such, we will be taking player feedback into account and dividing up difficulties and leaderboard so that players can take on World Bosses that match their progress. Please note, we will be working on these changes with a target launch of late okay so early july right um all dev teams are always late so you just take the the late <laughs> the latest date so early july is when world boss is coming so we are in april now april has one last update which is next week may has two updates so i'm thinking in may they drop the termi the terminal yeah Terminus, Terminus Isles exploration, and the quirks, and the precise craft. That's probably going to be somewhere in May. And then early July, they drop world boss. Right? We are currently working on new world bosses to reduce the potential fatigue of having to face the same world boss month to month. Yes, and we are also working on world boss exclusive costume rewards. Make more skins this is a waifu game please make more skins make better weapons make better trinkets make them dresses ayo make make everything that can be collected yeah incentive to take on challenges yes please note that we may hold another world boss beta test prior to its official launch to test the changes so they may drop it in may somewhere right so main story update for those who've been crying about the main story there's vlada meeting veronica uh we will see how she becomes a demiage because we have no idea we still have no idea how uh drakan gets corrupted and becomes a demiage <laughs> so i probably be will be answered i would first like to apologize for not being able to bring you the main story update sooner due to the work on it taking longer than expected why we will be bringing you the new installment of the main story season 2 part 2 on the 21st of may okay so the second update of may will have the story and we hope you'll be able to enjoy it as much 
as possible <clears throat> okay also in order to reduce the likelihood of another such extended hiatus between story updates we are planning to bring you future story content on a regular schedule this is how epic 7 did it. yo you guys already won with epic 7 taking out monthly chapters i don't know why you didn't do it here like no one knows <laughs> but here we are starting with season three we are hoping to release at least one new area every one to two months this is how epic 7 did it following the initial story update while the scale of each individual update will be smaller we are hoping this will help reduce the size of the gap between the story releases yes as story content takes a lot of time and resource to produce we are unable to provide specific dates for the release of season 3 at this time we ask again just do season 3 episode 1 in july right or or in august july we have our world boss dropping and then september episode 2 you know so forth so forth don't drop the whole of season 3 it's it's gonna come in 2025 who cares at that point but yeah let's go um we ask for your kind understanding and we will do our best to bring it to you as soon as possible okay so quality of life we have review feedback the feedback our players have provided through the various channels and we are working to address them via various quality of life improvements we have added a sweep function to the equipment dungeon and we are planning to add a sweep function to memorial match in our oh thank god oh my god oh <laughs> yes no one cares about those side things oh thank god dude can you edit next update please <laughs> i swear please please edit next update because wow also we are hoping to soon unveil the ultimate skill 3 skip function that has delayed due to large amounts of systematic improvements that had to happen in order for it to be implemented really don't you have didn't you have like a button to be like switch on skills skills switch off skills i don't know why you'd want to switch off skills by the way it's always weird we plan to continue making improvements to the game based on feedback provided to our players we will do our best to provide our players with enjoyable experience through stable service and engaging gameplay all right and and also there's a new coupon code so they say on the may 23rd Outer plane will reach its first anniversary we would like to express our heartfelt thanks for our players who have enjoyed Outer plane and showed us support over the years we are hard at work preparing a plethora of events and content to celebrate first year anniversary we will continue they're gonna make event gear <laughs> the last time they were hard at work preparing events you know what they did they took away the pt for free summons so so ah uh, this brings me zero joy by the way this this brings me zero joy we'll continue working hard to make auto playing the best game it can be thank you and um yeah yeah everyone is just like yeah the changes cool uh we appreciate you and um again good changes coming hopefully hopefully everything works out again the game's biggest problem is still marketing um it's known in a bad light right now in the gacha community and i feel like if it just becomes a waifu game with everything easy to do and pvp being an afterthought then the game will be much better but that's just my opinion and it seems like they're going in that direction which works out for me as well i have been carvian thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video